All right, amino acids that are blank may be acidic or basic, and it all depends on the fourth group that alternates. So we have hydrophilic. The correct answer is C there. So amino acids that are hydrophilic may be acidic or basic, and it all depends on the fourth group that alternates. So we have that side chain that's going to be hydrophilic, and it's going to have a deeper categorization whether it's going to have a negative charge or a positive charge. For example, you have the amino acid glutamic and it's going to have a negative charge side chain. Uh, then you're going to have, oh, and it's going to maintain a hydrophilic and it's going to be classified as hydrophilic, excuse me. Um, now let's go ahead and let's talk about lysine. Lysine is going to be on the basic side and it's going to have a positively charged side chain. Now both are amino acids and both are going to be hydrophilic. The only difference is their, uh, their charges.